Okay, today's the last lecture for neuroscience. Have you enjoyed neuroscience this year? Yes. Better than biology? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, today we're going to learn about movement, movement planning. And we're going to try and draw everything you learn together into uh, how the brain works. So these are the learning objectives for today. Before you make a movement, you have to plan it out. You have to, your, your, your brain and your mind plans out the movement. So we're going to learn about motor planning. And so far, we've been telling you about different sensory modalities and about movement as if they're single areas in the cortex. As if they're single areas in the cortex. Yeah, as if there's just one area uh -huh. for each. But the truth is that every sensory modality and every and movement and motor planning has lots of cortical areas involved and they all interact. So it makes the brain actually very complicated and sophisticated. So it can be a, a real challenge to learn neuroscience because of how complicated the brain is. When you have something difficult to learn, one of the things we say is the most important is persistence. What is persistence? So, uh, to be able to overcome the heart uh, difficulties and uh, to be able to um, endure hardship. Or okay, persistent means to keep trying mm -hmm. and maybe come use your mind and come up with a, a better plan. You have to do both. Mm -hmm. Uh, All of us teachers have been very impressed about how much effort you put into these courses and how difficult it is, and we appreciate that. Always? All uh, the teachers. The teachers uh, are, uh, yeah. So sometimes, uh, 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 uh
Okay, I'm going to show you an example of persistence. This is a cracker. Now he thinks about it and comes up with a plan. <laughs> okay, you're the mice, okay? <laughs> I want you to be persistent and get the cracker. Okay, I, I added some slides to the lecture because I wanted to show you some additional things. I, I want? I added slides to the lecture so they don't have copies of them. So you can just, just watch, you don't have to worry about looking at the paper. Very often when we show you human brains, they've been preserved with a chemical called formaldehyde. Chemical called mela. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. So sometimes the formaldehyde is like that zed chicky tone, that is, carsugur. But this is what every lebaj carsugur, that is, nyar 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 debi, that is, lebaj lebaj part, that is, ten debi, is kiran sulara. This is what a real human brain looks like. That's not. Fixed with formaldehyde. It's kind of soft and squishy. Okay, what part of the brain is this? Uh, well, that's very good. I always just wanted cortex. <laughs> what part of the brain is that? Ah, uh, cerebellum. Cerebellum, very good. Okay, what are these? These are the nervous system. That's that's the peripheral nerves. Peripheral nerve. That is the core of the one But it's also brain, right? Okay, who can show me where the central nervous system is? That is the one that the core is. Uh, spinal cord and brain tender. <coughs> Central nervous system. Yeah. Tell me once I'm allowed to uh, only spinal cord. Spinal cord and the brain is central nervous system. Where would his hands be? Lower 
لخبطة كويرة. hands. yeah. and legs. كمبا. okay. good. thank you. <laughs> so you see how the the brain connects to the entire body. So then the lebagi manzu subu tangmalo ne ditu chigda tugda. So when I tell you to move your toes, you use these nerves that go to your toes. So then the kiranzu ta kamba ju zugu tende kujutan shos de sambata ne tanda ju wanza di de la ta selon te gores. If I tell you to move your fingers, you use these nerves that go to your fingers. And if I tell you to touch your toes with your fingers, you're using both. Okay, let's take a little closer look at the cerebral cortex. This is a picture of a of a fixed human brain, fixed, fixed in formaldehyde. Ah, alle tanda yidi kutolo mandu ezeji do from formaldehyde sa dina ne kulu luksa yugeta ne leba yipar dres. If we cut the human brain in half, ta ne leba de ko choni shawai na. Like this. Oh, this chi shawai na dar chi dres. And then stain the cells blue. You see the neurons here. Who can tell me what this part is, the white part? So, blood vessels? No. Uh, some uh, liquid. No. What What do neurons need to do in order to talk to each other? synapses. They need to make synapses, but what they use? What do they use to make synapses? Uh, Chemical transmission, neurotransmission. <laughs> okay, here's a neuron here, and he wants to talk to neuron over there. And how does he send a signal from here to there? What does he do? So through the empty space. <laughs> With what? Action potential. What does action potential travel down? What does the legit of the Karigun do? Axon. Axon. Okay. These are the cell bodies. These are all the axons. Okay, this is the cortex. And the relationship. And there are millions and millions of neurons. And let's say this neuron right here, he wants to talk to this neuron over here. How does he do that? Through axons. Through an axon. An axon may go like this. And come here and make a synapse. Okay.
Ah. Okay. So uh, the dendrites are uh, kind of uh, shorter and the exons are uh, very long. Correct. Uh, why, what, what is the reason? Uh, dendrites are just like uh, branches on a tree and the synapses are like leaves. Uh, each leaf is where the, the tree gets a signal, an input. So a tree has many leaves, it means it can receive many inputs. But when the, when the neuron wants to talk to another neuron, it has to send an axon far, it has to have an axon that goes far away. Now, let's suppose that neuron A wants to talk to neuron C. But there's no connection from A to C. But he has a connection to neuron B and B talks to neuron C. So A can tell information to B and B can pass that information to C. It's like you want to tell a friend some, a message but you can't call him right away, but you know that there's another friend that's with him. So you call that person, tell him the message, and then they tell your, the one you wanted to get the message, the message. Now, how many cells did we say in the brain? Eighty billion. Eighty billion. Thousand, million, billion. Okay. All these neurons have axons. Yes. In the cortex, there's about 10 billion neurons. Okay, so if I could do this all day long and all night long and for years and years, maybe I could make 10 billion neurons. All these neurons want to talk to each other, so they send connections. So, even though each fiber is very, very small, much smaller than a hair, there are billions of fibers, millions and billions of fibers. So, 
and the pitcher done as in the tall lady and top of Indra. I didn't know she is just on the little bit to put the best time on where is. Okay, so let's go over this. What's the what are the what's the blue part of the brain here? So then, Chasing Mumbo did the career. One that has to top on Ludra, cell body. Cell bodies of what? Carry Lud. One that has a neuron cell. Cell, uh, neural cell body. What structure is this here? This is the. What structure is this? What is this? Lesion cortex. Cortex. So these are the cell bodies of the cerebral cortex. Uh, what is this What is this part? Exons. What do the axons do? So it carries the, it sends the information uh, signal. Great. Uh, but isn't it also the the uh, white part? Isn't it also the ganglions? Uh, glue cells? No. Glue glue cells. Glia. Glions. Oh, we didn't really get into that. Oh. I'll look at that. Yeah. Okay. What are these? Uh, ner nerves. Neurons. Neurons. One's a tasura. This is a piece of the cortex showing the neurons. How many neurons are here? Five. Six, five, three, four, five, six. Okay, who, who said five? All right, let's see, you, come on up. Come on. <laughs> okay, show me the five cell bodies. Cell body. Cell body. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. No. Just there's four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Show me the dendrites. And then that gives it in ten shows. Oh, the lens at The lens at The lens at ten shows. The lens at ten shows. These are. That's dendrite. That's dendrite. Very good. This this is dendrite. This is dendrite. Okay. So you see how the neuron looks like a tree. In fact, we call this the dendritic tree. This is like the This is like the trunk of a tree, and this is the the branches and the and the synapses are the leaves. Uh, so these are dendrites? Yeah. Dendrites? Yeah. Isn't it axons? No. No? Those are dendrites. These are also dendrites. Yeah. This may be, there's only one axon, maybe this, I don't know. Oh, there. Oh, there.
Sangma dalin satin che the dalin satin the karisna ganzo loma dan chibares hindong loma dan chibares. Okay, what is this? Digare. Soma cell body. It the cell body of what? Karigi karigi ne chapul thamulu dire. Neuron neuron cell body. How many are there? Kazudu dila. One. Okay, who knows where the dendrites are? And then the lens are called. All these. Hey, come on up. You. No. <laughs> okay, where are the dendrites? The lens are called. The lens are called. Yeah. Okay, wait, where's the axon? The lens are called. No. Dendrite. Axon. Maris. That's dendrite. The the lens are this. One of those is the axon. One of these is the axon. Yes. That's the axon. Okay, see? How do you recognize? I could tell you right now. The dendrites look like a tree branches. But this also looks like tree. No, it's just one. It just goes like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so these are all real images, right? Real images. Yeah. Re real images. Real real neurons in the cortex. Real I images, right? Images are real. This is a picture of an actual neuron. Actual neuron. Tadi kita parang umar da. Parang umar jauh saja yudar da. Rumu cuci mar da. This is a picture through a microscope of neurons that we study. There's a famous neuroscientist named from Spain named Santiago Ramon y Cajal. Spain Santiago Ramon y Cajal And he sat down with the brain and he drew all the neurons in his lifetime. He carefully drew what he could see in the microscope about 120 years ago and he made a document of all the different types of neurons in the brain. Mm. Okay. This is a brain of different animals. This is a human brain. This is a brain of an elephant. Do you do you have any elephants around here? Uh, they have big brain just like us. Good brain? Big brain. Big brain. Like brain. Us. This is a dolphin. This is a gorilla. Gorilla said Migura. The type of monkeys that you have around here are called macaques. Those are the ones you see on the. This is their size brain. This is a dog, this is a cat, and that's a mouse. 
So gorillas are smarter than macaque? Who? Gorillas are smarter yes. than macaque? Yes, gorillas. Well, it, you have to ask what you mean by smart. Uh -huh. Every animal is, is adapted to their niche to do uh -huh. what they need to do, but gorillas can make um, quite sophisticated, more sophisticated mm. associations like Association. chimpanzee. Mm. Chimpanzee has also a big brain. Mm. Okay. Then the mugu say that then the chimpanzee say that two gorillas do. They get the collar, but chimbu do. So then, when you go to see that, how you are doing, can you do anything to get two gorillas? That chit saw young when you that chit saw the gorilla. That charge it to you that you mangbo is wrong. Brain size is related to body size because if you're very large, very large body like an elephant, you have to control a lot of the skin and muscles. So then, that you leave your children, the subu your children, that the dog chagu is that the subu chimbo yoba is not carsen. That subu your children, the animal that the Tanzanian chicken is that the leave your chimbo chagu is. Humans have a large brain, but not such a big body, so they have kind of. Extra brain. Tane Manzo Dormi Chasha Wainako, Subu Dinichimbo Yomar, then I labor Takarsu, Tesotinjo, Chetobot, Kasu Hajangi Chimbo Ris. So then Kunzula Labor Tobias. Okay, so this is the brain of a macaque monkey that, like you see around here on the Dikarsu Manzo Namu Yama Chonde Gita and the Pugu Gita and the Labor Ris. This is a human brain next to a half of a human brain. Half a monkey, half a macaque, half a human. Okay, let me go back one. So I showed you this. If you cut the brain in half and you see the blue part, you see that the neurons are just a sheet, very thin, two millimeters. So if you take this monkey brain, like this here, mm -hmm. and you cut it, the fibers, the axons, mm -hmm. so that you can unfold it, unfold it like this, mm -hmm. it becomes a sheet, mm -hmm. a thin sheet, only two millimeters thick, mm -hmm. And look like this if it's flat on the ground. So then that in the Karso, then that the macaques are the pure, pure the level of culture. Or level the that that kids are doing such that in the once you see the Changma in the core, then that that top of the blue chibu the slab in the in the middle of that in the core part one is that in the level of the chadures. You can do the same with the human brain. Each side of your brain, each side of your brain is like a sheet about this big round. Okay, so you have a sheet here, and about this thick, almost exactly this thick, and a sheet over here. But to, to get the cortex inside the skull, you have to fold it up. Alright, so you fold it up and then it fits inside the skull. That's why it looks all wrinkled. If, if this was the cortex, and then I slowly unfold it, it looked like that. So then they did this. Nirma kumje did this cut cut tambay na cut tambay na that they did that cut up na shindeli chadures level. What is this? You got it. Pizza. 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 
It's exactly the same size as the human cortex. Oh, 잠깐 비싸게 체중대에 따에네 도와미기 레버기 체중대 치과에레스. 아니 레슌 레슌기 아 레슌기 체중대 치과에레스. So you have about two pizzas inside your skull. 잠깐만 계속 가발라 나올라 이네 따 비싸 니에레스. This is the human skull, and this is the brain inside the skull. Zanda kabala da ne da ne diroa leba. And it's folded up so that it fits inside your skull very nicely. Zanda ko kabala na shaya la kar sana ko tapci gyam ne dus nirma kum deres. I tried to put pizza in the skull, but it doesn't fit. Zanda gyan korang di na lo la pizza ne ka shungu de mande taens ne yabo shung masans. Okay, so now let's talk about the cortex. We told this is a monkey brain. This is a macaque brain. This is looking at the macaque brain from the side. What part of the cortex is this? Visual cortex. Visual cortex. For seeing. Okay. This is for seeing. All right. What about here? What part of the cortex is that? Di inhalation ni cecik kerana. Nato. Ah. Nato. Parietal cort. No. Occipital cortex. No. No. This is occipital. Yeah. What is it called? Temporal. Temporal. Oh, nato. Temporal. This is for hearing. So tadi ini kan tu tesor, tesor dan dua baju cahaya gula. Okay. This is parietal cortex for touch. Di cukup dah berapa? Nanti tak macam tu, tanda di rektor, rektor tu nampak apa macam? This is motor cortex. Di ini gudulation res. But if we take that brain and unfold it like the sheet, it looks like this. Tapi yang bayar nanti, tapi lesion itu sendiri kat yang bayar nanti, ini tak, ini tu nampak tak kotor nanti, level up cahaya gula res. This is this is the visual cortex on the back of the brain, right here. But then the translation, did you? Okay, this is the motor cortex right here. But then the visualization, did you? It's kind of like a map. Oh, that then the subtraction, did you? And there are many, many different cortical areas. That then now all that the lesion get chashi mandra mangboyres, saku mandra mangboyres. Okay. You take this sheet and, it, and it's flattened out, and you draw on it the different areas like vision, motion, uh, hearing, and you see all the different areas like a map. So then the patch of the in this that in remote kind of remote remote thing this part you know that in that thong sort of thing sort of thing that in saku mambo do that sabta na yishere do as. So think about how you behave. You can do many different things, right? You can um, pick up a glass because you see it. You can close your eyes and pick it up because you feel it. Because you? Feel it. Feel it. Tapi ni macam macam tu selain tu gula garis, nanti ko rektor tu selain tu gula, cor tu gula. You can coordinate your vision and your feeling and and drink from it and taste it. Tapi ni macam ni, tapi ni tanda gugur di gula garis, nanti debjur debjur cece, ni tanda lawa gugur di debjur cece, ni ti thaw di nyam tu gula. So all these different cortical areas have to be able to talk to each other so that that information can flow from touch to move, movement to vision to hearing to taste. This is vision here. This is vision. This is all vision. This is movement. 
the good you is good you this is planning the chassis chassis the so these are all the connections that they knew of at that time you see all the many many connections inside the brain so the guys now and the dig it and the tenu batso you ta tembe pche shagyo ta chassis paru gita and the jiltu dig it is we believe that everything that you can do and every thought that you have in your head comes from these connections and activity. So Let's review a little bit. What are these pictures of? Neurons. Neurons. What, what is each one of these? What part of a neuron? A neuron cell body. Neuron cell body. What part is this? Dendrites. Dendrites, like a tree, huh? Like the branches on a tree. Good. What's this? Nigger. On the top one cheek, one neuron. One neuron. Where's the cell body? Top one little cow do. Come on up and show me. Then that's. There you go. Okay, where Oh, Okay, each, each, each little swelling. Oh, so could Dodo Dodo How many are there? So that Many. Count them. So that <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> There's about 10,000 you can see. So that teaching picture is this. Good job. <laughs> okay, this is the cell body. This is the dendrites. Each little swell is like a leaf on a tree is the synapse. So that in the co the lens that you thought the line that you do 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 do. Let me show you an example of synaptic connection. Here's a neuron and it's receiving synapses. From other neurons. Okay, so this gives you an idea of how small synapses are. What's the process that the synapses come from? What is this? What is process? Yeah, this is a presynaptic side. What is this running along making the synapses? This is presynaptic. This releases transmitters. So what is? Axon. That's the axon. This is the axon coming in from a neuron, and it makes synaptic connections onto this neuron. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, now 
If you put all those 10 billion neurons together and you connect them together and let them talk to each other, and you, that's in the person's head, and you put that person in a fMRI. Does anybody know what an fMRI is? fMRI is the kind of coins that they like this over there. Chile, Chile, Kavling Yamdergi Lopers, Chile, Kavling Yamdergi Lopers. What is it? Chile, Kavling Yamdergi Lotus at the Garris. So it's able to, it's able to record the um, actual uh, activity or function of the brain. It, it's a machine that can, re to, that can show you the activity of a human brain. And they use it for research and in hospitals. To try and understand how the brain works or to see if there's something wrong with it. So this is the activity of a person's brain who's just sitting there thinking to himself. Yellow means a lot of activity, orange means a little bit of activity, and blue means very little activity. You can see how complicated the patterns of activity are. Okay, so for to behave, to generate behavior, like if you're moving, you have to put all of those different cortical areas together, just like you have to coordinate your body and your vision and your sight, your sound, touch, everything has to be coordinated. And that's why these patterns are so complicated because you have a lot of things you have to do in order to behave. Okay, we're going to pause here and I'm going to take questions before we give the go on to talking about mo planning movements. So, uh, you normally we show neurons as with a um, structure that is close to the cell body being the dendrite and the structure that is very long as an exon, but the actual picture shows that. Uh, the long structure is actually dendrite, and the, the exon is actually not that long, very short. 
That's just, a, that's just a consequence of the staining method. The stain doesn't stain the axon so you don't see it. But what about the length? After, after the tea break, I will look and see if I can find some pictures of axons so you can see better what they look like. So we have so many dendrites, thousand, uh, ten thousand of dendrites, um, and uh, if you receive so many in input signals, uh, how are you able to uh, pass the signal through only a single uh, axon? Uh, all of these. Okay. I will. Um, talk about it after a tea break because the axon also has 10,000 outputs. Axon has also 10,000. I did not show you any pictures of the axon and all of its and all of its connections. Any other questions? Okay. So, uh, neuron contains so many, neuron has so many uh, dendrites, and if we take, for example, five neurons, uh, is there any difference between the way the signal is received through dendrites between the five neurons? Um, we've been telling you the general properties of neurons. And in the brain, there are many, many different types of neurons. They all have dendrite, cell body, axon, but they also have some differences in their properties. They change their, it's like uh, maybe they use a little bit of a different language. They each use a little bit different language. Any other question? Jimmy or Jimmy, Jimmy is more. So we say that cats, no matter how it falls on the ground, it's always Land on, its land, feet. A, land on its feet and uh, uh, versus human who is always uh, uh, like um, smashes his head and uh, <laughs> what is the reason that the human brain is so heavy? So we have a large brain so that we can do sophisticated things that humans do. They have uh, large social groups and um, 
They make plans, they think about the future, they remember the past. How many cats do you know that have built a monastery? Similar to monasteries. Something how, like how, many, something. how many cats built an iPhone? No, oh, okay. So tomorrow. There's two reasons, I think. There's two reasons for that. One is the brain. What else do we have that allows us to do things like that? What else do you need besides a very good brain, very good vision, like a cat has a brain and good eyes? What else do you need to build something like a phone? Planning, planning. Well, besides your brain, what else do you need? Something else. Yeah, hands. Hands. We have these amazing machines that we can do very fine detail. No, a no monkey can do this. Because their thumb doesn't oppose their fingers. Okay. Yeah, try and do something fine without a thumb. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, so each each species of animal is adapted to their environment. Okay. We're adapted to use our hands and to be in a society and to build plan for the future and build things. Yeah. So you said that the gray part, the outer layer of the cortex is where the cell bodies are and the white matter or the central substance is the exons. Is it like same for all brains throughout? Um, all, all mammalian brains. And even, even some uh, lower species like fish, frogs. 
But there are neurons underneath too. Somebody on with us. I, I want to say one thing. There are other structures underneath the cortex that also have neurons. So this is neurons, axons, and then neurons again. Okay. Like a turtle has these neurons, but very small cortex. So as you go up the animal kingdom from very simple animals, like a turtle, a, a fish, to a mouse, to a cat, to a dog, to a macaque, to a human, you get more and more and more cortex. So in humans, if you have damage to your cortex, you lose those abilities, your ability to move, to feel, to see, and so on. So we are very dependent on our cortex. So we think that we're smarter if we we think we have abilities that a frog does not have because of our large cortex. Okay, next question. So we said that uh, all activities, all our uh, uh, actions are stimulus uh, dependent, like, uh, like depending on stimulus. So is there any activity of the brain that uh, somehow uh, triggered by inside inner uh, inner um, like functions or abilities or any sure uh, that's a good question we we talk a lot about stimulus evoked because it's very simple to understand but the vast majority of behavior is not directly stimulus evoked. Okay, so you make plans, you think, you, you decide something, and then you go and do it. Ah. Oh. So, where does the planning, uh, thought, uh, decision uh, uh, like rise from, like start from? My my understanding is that in Buddhism, you be, you believe that everything unfolds in in space and time. 
that there's no beginning and no end. It's just continually moving forward. So then, the new cars were hardcore, right? New cars were that, and new that new car is car is cost us, and Nangbe Nangba Nangbe car is doing us, and Nangbe Chu car is doing us, and that Jiden Kamji Chu Yonzo car is doing us, and that. Tu dan pernah lah tu sana kerja suri. Jadi ni dosa gores. Tapi ni koran lah thome thame baca lah. Thome thame baca. Tapi mutu ni tu sekarang ni dosa gores. Ini si ni kosong suruh nang nang bercuci. This is a movie of human brain while the person is thinking to themselves. Di kerja sana ni mici kita ni susu samlo tangsin betul ni kau gipar cibes. So where would you point and say the thought started, and where would you point to say the thought ended? So then the Kiranzo in a Samlo de Kadunu got to Kadunu Jugu or say the Kiranzo love to say. When I'm so that Tometa says killing war or a number to you, right? So then Samloya, Samlola and Tometa Yimara. Da Tantan Chiora, Da Tantan Tangatso de Jemba de Chingatso de Soso Nyar Shabba, Jemba de Nyarche, and in Jemba de Nyangatso de Large Garsuriata, Jemba de Yonia de Garsur and Atso Chig Zugudo. Oh, yang ia dia, oh, oh, jenso je ia dia, kerana kita jenso je ia dia, ko, kita dah dah tahu tu cara sama tangan wayna ko, cikak zukjen tahu cik cakap dia orang. Tadi jenso je ia lah, ko kerana kita dah ko cik gosu ia jenso dia kerana kita je lah, jujur tahu cik su 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 cik. So when you talk about like mental activities based on like chemical signals, like electrical signals. Uh, so the signals, and and when you, whenever you do such activity and uh, store memories, and then later on you retrieve those memories, um, how is how can you able how are you able to retrieve uh, the memories uh, of the based on signal activities? If signal activities are something tangible and um, physical, whereas uh, like. What triggers those uh, retrieval of memories? Like, uh, what what stimulates or triggers the retrieval of memories? Okay. So then, two other guys, na, ganzo temba say the ganzo ta loda ta zeta nindi mo dogi obai na ganzo temba say the ganzo chiso gores ta chik sujeng gichu maim bigita thambu kuma tangye sna mandu ta ne temba de chenso chaya la ta thambu. Got to stand over Ganesh to Guris, got to other Ganesh to Guris, I told you. There's two parts of that question. One is simple to answer, and one is very difficult to answer. I told the Lachitan Chahi Nidus, Chahi Chik the Karsana and the Lenge Leloche, Chahi Chik the Lenge Kawuris. So this is your ear. This is your eyelid. 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 Oh, this is your eyelid. Eyelid. This is your 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 eyelid. And if I wanted to teach you to blink to the tone, to a sound, I could pair a sound and hit your face every time. Beep. Beep. So that in the Kiran Kiran Gita in the Kiran Lata in the Yang Jik Yang 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 Da Jik Da Yang Jik Da in the Chundu Chambara Kiran Gi Mik Ten Re Re La Mik Tsung Gores La Ba In the Kiran Kiran La Jong Dar Gandhi Chitay Gores In the Da Jik Tumba Dan Lam San Kiran La Teja Shu Da Jik Tumba Dan Lam San Teja Shu Teja Shu This Ma Kiran Gi Mik Tsung Gora Teja Shu Teja Shu Da This Chun Kiran La Jong Dar Chitay Gores Beep 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 Beep, and then what happens when I say beep again? What happens? That this, the mom bo this jonder chase is jala. Jima ko da chibu madu ta da chun chibu madu ta da chun chun dukan la kar chigri chan. Mitsung guru. You blink. Yes. Even if I don't hit you, you blink. Because. 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 Because.
Hijungi Yalin Tabdu Sugurus, the Hijungi Yalin Tabdu Sugurus. So we think associative learning, right? Associative learning? No, that's classical conditioning. Classical conditioning. Have you ever heard of Pavlov's dogs? No. Pavlov was a Russian scientist who noticed that when the dogs heard the sound of a bull, they salivated because they knew that that was going to be, they were going to be fed. So he trained them to hear a bell and then they were fed, hear a bell and then they were fed. And then he gave them just a bell and they salivated. Okay, that's called Pavlovian conditioning or Pavlovian learning pattern uh, after, after Pavlov. So we think that that type of learning is simply more synapses or stronger synapses between the sound and the blink. This type of memory. Okay, that's the simple answer. Here's a, Here's a little more complicated answer. If I ask you, why did you blink to the tone, you would say, because I thought you were going to slap my face. That's a different type of memory. That's memory that mediated by the hippocampus. That type of memory is about facts, like what I ate for breakfast this morning, um, who my friends are, where I live, things like that. Mm -hmm. We think that those are stored in changes of synaptic connections in your cerebral cortex. Now the hard question that we can't answer is why when you have those memories, if I ask you, where's your room? Where do you live? And you think about where you live. I don't know why the neural activity in your brain and the activation of the synapses gives rise to a thought. Gives rise to a thought. How these, uh, how 
activity in neurons, neurons and synapses yeah. give rise to a thought. Thoughts. So then the ones that touch upon it, that any chawa dan chile chile digi digi ro samlo tanya de kandu chik ne go chu yome de ne yago haku omaris. We 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 as neuroscientists know that the brain gives rise to thoughts, but we don't understand why or how. How? That is, once the chasu gita, that is, samlo that is, go to yoga, that is, ganjo haku gore. That is, samlo that is, gita, kem kem ro masu na, that is, once the chasu gimba, that is, ganjo haku gore. That is, kandu chigi gimba, that is, chichir se gita wa di, that is, ganjo lengi aptu gomare. So before the tea break, I'm going to leave you with that. That idea. This is a fundamental problem in in uh, in neuroscience and in our understanding of of nature. So sometimes these ones that come and This is the problem of where does the mind and where do thoughts come from? So here, so I'm going to give you an, uh, an, an example for you to think about and then maybe after tea break we can discuss it, okay? Okay, this is a soccer ball sitting on top of a hill. And the wind blows and causes the ball to fall down the hill and it hits this other soccer ball. And that soccer ball goes forward and they all bump each other like this. And then this ball falls down this hill. Is there a mind there? Is there a thought? No thoughts. No mind. Just, just physics of ball hitting each other. Okay. So let's say that instead of balls, these are neurons. And this first neuron is a sensory neuron. And the last neuron innervates a muscle that moves a leg. Uh, moves a leg? Yeah, leg, like uh, here. Moves what? Uh, a leg, a leg, muscle. Leg, oh, okay. Ne, one's a tasuk, Tama the Garsna, and a Guju one's a tasuk, Imbakanshila, Ko Garsna, Shadimla. Uh, okay, so the ball comes down the hill and it hits the sensory neuron and that fires an action potential. And then that makes action potential, action potential, action potential, and then it goes to the muscle and makes the leg kick the ball and the uh, ball rolls down the hill. Is there a mind there? Is there thoughts? Yes. Yes? Yes? Why? Because it has a, um, a motivation or motivation. Motivation is involved. Remember, remember we said if we Hit here, your your knee jumps. Mm. Is there a thought? Exactly. 
it go, goes to the spinal cord and then back to your muscle. Shiba yore. Marta, this shiba shiba ge wangi yongo re. Samlo 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 tanche yongo re. Yamara. No. Okay. Marta, shikin de sui me da. But no good shade. Two is the only thing to do. I'm sitting in the house. Two is the only thing to do. I'm sitting in the house. I'm sitting in the house. Okay, so here's his uh, knee. So that I'm going to do the chair. Oh, Thomas, I'm going to And if I hit your knee and it goes to your spinal cord and then back to again, it makes you kick. You can tell me exactly how that occurs because of the neurons and the action potentials and chemical transmission and muscle and so on, right? So then, Kiran so you that and the part of the love to Jang Bati Latini, love to Cheva de Latini, that in the ones that has a unit, legit top to two in the net, or ones that somebody get the loot, they do a Tindon Cheva Latini, Tamatama de Manzo, Kangba de Kandish, good you tan to go over the Kiran to the Shig of Tuguras, Sangma Sangyan to Shig of Tugura. Yes, so you don't have to use the word mind. So then, Kiran so you the Shiba said the Tig the Pichitan Gu Mundas. Go Munda. Now, what if I told you, if I touch your knee, if I touch your knee, I want you to kick your leg. It's not a reflex. I just tell you, I touch and you kick your leg. Is there a mind involved? Yes. 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 But this is our problem because it's the same thing. It just I touch your knee, it goes to neuron here, 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 and then it comes to your muscle here and you kick your leg. So then the kanyo the ganzo di chago is that in the jumba tanda ki pechin niba dila cha cha wa ina in the dadi ya jumba latan jumba ne leba latan leba ne in the gujulishin latan gujulishin ne ma. That's our problem. Okay, go have tea break and then maybe we could just discuss at the end of the day.